Hi, this is Matt with the Purdue Global Library, and in this video database walkthrough, we're going to review using Skillsoft Books. Skillsoft Books is actually an update to a database called Books 24 by 7, which you may have used in the past. What Skillsoft Books offers is access to thousands of books, around 20,000 as of this recording, around 50,000 videos, and all of these are in the areas of business and IT. So if you are taking any course in the School of Business and IT, this is definitely a database you should take a look at. The first thing we'll start with with Skillsoft Books is how to browse for content instead of searching for content. To browse for content, click on Books and Videos. That will bring up a pretty expanded menu. It's divided between Business and IT, exactly like how the collection is divided up in its areas of specialty. If you click on Business Topics or IT Topics, those will be the most broad results, and that's a good place to start if you're not really sure where to start, and you're just sort of exploring what's available. Otherwise, you can select on any of the subtopics already presented if any of those are of particular interest. Now, clicking on any one of those areas will bring you to a topics page. On the left side are going to be subcategories, uh, and each one of those will focus on a more specific area compared to the one you're looking at. And then, on the right side is all of our content. At the top, we see here our new releases. You can skip through those or select one if any of them are interesting to you. Or you can look down and see a list of recommended uh, books in this area. To see more, just click View More and More will load. Now, by default, it's going to highlight books, but if you want to see what videos are available, just click the Videos tab and they're right there. Now you can, of course, search at any time. Uh, nearly any page in the platform is a search box to the upper right corner of the page. And what I can do is type in my topic. I'm just going to type in Microsoft Office as an example. And then we see some books about, you know, guess what, Microsoft Office. It will display books by default, just like when we're browsing for content. If I want to see video content, I have to click the Videos tab. That's all I have to do. Now within the search results page, it does have a few options. I can click add filters. It'll suggest some subjects that I can click on to filter down. I can also uh, limit to books within the last five years, last two years, or this year. Another option available is to search within these results. So let's say I want to look for the word PowerPoint just within this set of search results to help further refine what's going to come up. Once you have done some browsing and searching and you find a title that you're interested in, all you have to do is click on the cover or the title of the book to open up some more information about it. And the page it's going to bring us to is a page that has three sections. It has about, table of contents, and related items. The about tab will tell you an overview as well as in this case, the actual back cover and a little bit about the author. So this is very much like picking up a copy of the book in a physical library and taking a look at it to see, okay, you know, is this the right book for you? You can also click on table of contents to, in this case, pretty self-explanatory. It will show you the table of contents. Uh, if I want to, I can click expand all and it'll actually show me all the sections within each chapter. And then I can click on the section or chapter that, that interests me and it will open it up uh, to that page. And then I can also click on related items. In this case, it's linking to things about Office 2016 uh, and more from this author, which includes some books specifically about uh, different Office programs from, from different years. So all you know, very useful information, uh, but I probably actually want to read the book at some point. So in this case, what I could do is click on the launch button. That will open the book up to the table of contents, but this time it will open it up to the table of contents in the viewer window. So this is what a book looks like once you've got it cracked open. If I want to start reading, I can then select my chapter and start. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a chapter at random here just for example's sake. Once I've got it open, I can then use the left arrows and right arrows to uh, skip through the content. Now at the top, above the page, I've got some options to help me save and link to the item 
uh, later. I'm not going to review all the tools up here, but the leftmost one will bring you back to the table of contents. I can also click the option with the down arrow with a line under it to download a copy of the chapter in PDF, Kindle, or EPUB formats. If I click the folder with a down arrow, that'll give me an option to actually save it to my own personal folder within Skillsoft. A nice thing about Skillsoft Books is it will remember you when you come back without having to create an account. All you have to do is log in with your PG Campus account at the beginning and you're good to go. You can save it to a general set of results or create your own folders and save it to existing folders. In this case, they call them sets. And then to find the link back to the book, I just have to click these three dots with sort of lines on them. And uh, at that point, I could just click the copy uh, link and it will actually copy it to my clipboard and then I can paste that into an email or notes or whatever I want there. And that is it for our video walkthrough of Skillsoft Books. Now, of course, finding the right book is the key. So if you have any questions about what keywords to use, exactly what area to browse to, or need any help finding a book within Skillsoft Books or any one of our other databases or just any information needs that you have, make sure to reach out to us. Our email is library at purdueglobal.edu.